protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Stocks have closed sharply lower today. The Dow has posted a 2-12 point drop after China roiled the global markets. Now, the Dow, Dow fell more than 200 points in the wake of a surprise devaluation of the yuan by China. China is the world's second largest economy. China's devaluation calls into question how the U.S. economy may fare as the Federal Reserve is aiming to start hiking interest rates for the first time since 2006 as signs of slowing growth abroad are persisting. So all of this is spelling a lot of trouble. Now, coming up later in the show, I'm going to be interviewing financial analyst uh, Jeff Berwick. He is the chief editor of The Dollar Vigilante. We're going to get into this, as well as some of the other signs that you need to be watching for, that there is a pending economic collapse coming. This, of course, is just one of those things. Uh, but basically, the fact is, the time for kicking the can down the road is catching up to the globalist bankers, the central banks. It's time for them to uh, pay the piper, as they say. The day of reckoning is here. Now, that interview is coming up at the end of the show. But first, earlier today, CBS just decided they would go ahead and run with a fake news story about Infowars, uh, basically saying that we were hiring the militia to protect our reporters out there. Remind <laughs> Mind you, Joe Biggs is a highly experienced combat veteran. However, he decided he needed to hire uh, some heavily armed militia there to protect him and Jakari. So InfoWars did not hire the Oath Keepers. These are friends of Joe Biggs. They all spoke to each other, uh, despite the article claiming that they were hired for private security. It wasn't attributed to any source. I mean, the statement could have just come from the writer's imagination. The fact is they were not hired, they're not being paid to be out there with Joe Biggs and Jakari Jackson. Meanwhile, you've got reporters from CNN and CBS and all of these other places hiring their own armed security to protect them while they're out there covering Ferguson. So very hypocritical, but obviously what this is all about uh, is an attempt to demonize Infowars again for linking us to what they call a militia group and a right-wing extremist group. And you can see the way the media is wanting to portray the Oath Keepers, not giving them any credit for what they actually do. You can see how they characterize them in the article. Uh, they say the Oath Keepers is a national group best known as supporters of the Nevada rancher Cliven Bundy during his 2014 dispute with the Bureau of Land Management. They get their name from the 3% of Americans who fought in the Revolutionary War. Uh, that's, I guess, the Idaho group. Um, and they come from what was a general rise in sometimes violent anti-government activity in the inland Northwest. Uh, after a lull following the demise of the Idaho-based neo-Nazi Aryan nations in 2000, anti-government and white supremacist groups and individuals saw a dramatic uptick in activity and organization. Then they go on to say how they're once again uh, be showing up to a dispute in Montana over a mining claim. So really just painting the Oath Keepers um, as these right-wing extremists, anti-government. And so that's why they really want to point out how it's, it's Alex Jones has linked these up and hired them to come out there heavily armed. And you can see how this, the corporate media is determined to portray the Oath Keepers and other people who are there in Ferguson, Missouri, uh, helping residents and business owners protect their property. They're wanting to paint these people as racist, outside agitators. Uh, Representative Emmanuel Cleaver, who represents Missouri's 5th Congressional District, went on MSNBC this morning and he characterized people, uh, these people saying that they're uh, people who have to be taken out. So it's not clear, was Cleaver talking about the criminals who were shooting at police or the Oath Keepers who arrived early Tuesday morning? Because the fact is, nobody was shot last night. No reporters were beaten and robbed, as one from the St. Louis Post-Dispatch was beaten and robbed. He's actually um, recuperating now in the hospital. But that didn't happen last night. So where is the connection? I hope people are seeing you know, where the connection is, is that there were armed Oath Keepers there. An armed society is a polite society, and that's where the connection lies. And it's really funny how things change from just one year. Despite the Oath Keepers there protecting black-owned businesses uh, from looters, we had one woman who she was thanking them, saying, please don't leave, please stay, please help watch my shop. 
Now, of course, the Independent also went on to contribute to this race baiting, asking why only white people are allowed to carry guns. And that is a mischaracterization because anyone is allowed to open carry in Missouri uh, under the law, regardless of their skin color. But once again, they don't want you to know your rights. They don't want you to know that's your right as an American. Uh, we got D. Ray McKesson, who's the, one of the leaders there of Black Lives Matter, um, you know, also openly being courted by Hillary Clinton. He's constantly on the divide and conquer tip. So everything he is putting out is all about divide and conquer. And so, of course, he retweeted a slur against Oath Keepers and Infowars, uh, basically saying, why is Oath Keepers, an organization that came to the aid of Ferguson residents last year, being demonized by the Black Lives Matter movement, as well as being demonized by the mainstream media? This is the same mainstream media that was celebrating rioting and looting last year, saying it was necessary. Now, what they're not going to show you is the videos that we have up at InfoWars, where you're actually seeing uh, this positive dialogue constructive between the protesters and the Oath Keepers. Of course, you're not going to see that because that, of course, is counter to their narrative. But as long as we're divided as a community, we can't fix these problems. We've got to come together. We've got to stop the hate, watch each other's back, and come together and demand that these crooked lawyer politicians, career politician, lying lawyers that are stealing from all of us, leave office and put some real people in. That's how we fix the problem. We come together and get rid of the career politicians and the lawyers. is almost here and with it comes those new year's resolutions to finally transform your body the way you want it there's a reason over 88 percent of new year's resolutions fail make this year different by equipping yourself with oxy powder the next level in cleansing the body naturally using super oxygenation oxy powder available through infowarslife.com gently cleanses the body while you sleep with easy capsules tens of thousands of individuals have used oxy powder to cleanse their bodies and aid in their transformations even infowars nightly news director rob dew has been using oxy powder with incredible success took it that first day then i took it for six more days after that 12 pounds melted off in about a week i'd say a week seven days 2015 can be different diet and exercise are important but a lot of us have already tried that oxy powder flushes it out. Secure your oxy powder at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139.